We are playing the new Master Yi in the current patch with the changed Alpha Strike, the change Meditate. If you guys don't know what the buffs are, I'll go over them as we play the game. They are quite significant changes, and we see some mashy win rate increases across the board. It's pretty substantial, actually. We're seeing over an 8% win rate increase on Yi so far. The idea is that you can now control which direction your Q comes out, and you also have additional attack range. So, in this case, like, let's say that we want to go gank bot. We can actually redirect our Q towards bot lane instead of being forced to come out on the side of the Krugs. It's going to be a huge buff. Um, I mean, as the win rates are already reflecting, it is a huge buff. And it'll make Mashi a lot harder to play against. A word from our sponsor, Porofessor. Do you feel like you're missing something in League of Legends? Yes, a hot girlfriend. Fear no more. Porofessor has got your back. Porofessor will make you a better player. With jungle timers, you can easily know when your camps are going to be up, which lets you go on the opposite side of the map and still be there in time. You ever wondered how I got those fancy summoner spell timers? Yup, you can know exactly when your enemy slash is going to be up and react accordingly. Sometimes you just want to know what your team's good at. Porofessor helps you with that as well. With the menu like this, you can easily see what your team is good at and how you should accommodate them. Just like your team feature, you can actually see what the enemy is good at and take advantage of their weaknesses. Porofessor is an app that I will use every single game. I absolutely love it and I cannot live without their timers. If you want to rise in the ranks, download for free using my link in the description below. We're going to go ahead and uh, kill these raptors here. I'm not sure if I use my E. But there's just so many things that work together to make E well and they did not nerf anything. Everything was a pure buff. So the only thing that could happen here is that Yi becomes better. Okay, let's kill this. This little raptor will die. We'll go over here. Uh, of course, our ganks, our ganks are a little bit better as well because we can choose which direction we appear on enemy champs, right? So like if they die, if they go under the tower or something, we can choose instead of going even deeper under the tower with them, we can choose our direction. Also, Meditate is such a short cooldown. Meditate now has a nine second cooldown, which is absolutely huge. We can utilize it all the time. Oh, let me go ahead and use uh, the Lucian exhaust spells. Thank you, enemy team. Oh, so like right there, you see how I alpha strike behind the blue. Um, I shouldn't have done that. I should have alpha on the other side, but you know, I was not paying attention. I was too busy looking at my summoners. Let's go to an alpha. And it's gonna take some getting used to to get this alpha strike uh, direction however considering how much the win rate has increased on Yi already it seems like it's not too hard for most people to use also we're probably going to be seeing ourselves wow that put me on the wrong side we're going to be seeing some Yi nurse very soon dodge a spear and then we're going to come over here we have a uh, fiora is coming man what is like why do my lanes never have prio oh i got one I can burn her flash. I mean, dude, like, all right. Well, 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 Zed just died. And it all kind of snowballed from the Tom Kinch losing top lane. And then we had that uh, jungle crab fight there. So like this is gonna cause Zed his wave. And yeah, that just kind of snowballs. That's why it's really important to have early game prio and why early game champions are the most useful. Uh, same goes for like Yi. That's why Yi always historically struggled. He wasn't very good early, but Actually, I think he's uh, nowadays he's more of a mid and early game champion than he is a late game because of the sheer abundance of Zanyas. I'm going to go around for this. Nidalee has no flash. Uh, I didn't ping it, but I'm going to try to ping it. I have tenacity. Okay, I meditate in seven seconds, guys, thanks to the new changes. Um, I'm going to help them push because we want to get a Zed dive. And I already have meditate back up, which is nice. Zed's popping the Nidalee. Oh, wow. I got the assist. That's really nice. Uh, get another point into Q. Uh, can we push a little faster here? Okay. Secured. But Zed didn't get a, an assist. But, you know, Zed's doing a good job of roaming here even though he was behind. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to kill this pink. The quality pink. And I'm going to go help Zed. Mm, no, I can't really help him. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to grab this crab. <laughs> I wonder how the direction is influenced if you don't go to the target because you kill it with Alpha Strike. I wonder if it will change the direction you pop out. Probably not because it pops you out in the same location. But who knows? Maybe some spaghetti code will show us uh, another method here. Let's go ahead and uh, try and... We want to try and pull this down. And... Oh, hey, Azir. 
Are you going mid, homie? I got a I got a full jungle to clear. I, I might I might come by and help you later, bro. I mean, okay, but you're not six. Nah, I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Okay, I'm feeling it. He's he's really overextended, and he just used his dash. Uh, we have no CC, huh? Okay. Can they do that? No. Uh. <laughs> what was that? Come on, come on, you little leopard or whatever that champion is. I don't even know. We're gonna go over here and try to get our wolves, and then we'll clear up to the Gromp, and then we have these camps respawning in four seconds. Thank you, poor Professor. Right here. So we got this secured. That's what I like to see. And wonderful. We got the wolves. We're going to go capture ourselves the Gromp. And we don't need to worry about the crab because the crab's already taken in bot lane. And then we do want to get to the bot side before Nidalee decides she's going to do something. I'm going to change my build up a little bit, guys. I'm going to be going like Kraken into a Duskblade. Actually, I'm kind of tempted to go Shield Bow. Like, Shield Bow feels kind of... Kind of cheesy. Oh, but I already have the pickaxe, so it doesn't really matter. I'll grab this, this. We're going to drop this, buy some boots. And then after we get the boots, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you go, like, Destiny on Shilbo, it's just, like, really super cheesy. And feels good. But I'm going to go for the Destiny in second because I'm honestly, I'm tired of people buying Death Dance and becoming invulnerable. So I'm going to be the guy to uh, buy Death Dance and become invulnerable. Also, guys, check out my ping. I'm, I'm anywhere between two to five ping now. I don't know what Riot did, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a low ping guy now. Apparently, there was, like, some kind of display bug where your ping was displaying higher than normal. But, uh, I don't know, man. It's, uh, I mean, I knew about it. I knew that, like, Korea always had, like, 8 ping, but I don't know. This is, I don't know. It's crazy to me how low my ping is. Let's go ahead and kill this dragon. I mean, I guess coming into this, I did know that the ping was always represented higher than it should be because every Korean player had eight ping, right? No matter where you, like, if you were near the server, you always had eight ping. Okay, anyway, I, I digress. Back to the back to the Yi thing, guys. Back to the Yi thing. We're going to be popping over here. Look at this meditate cooldown here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit about this meditate. I know I don't need to meditate, but look. Look at our mana. Look how fast it goes down. And look at our cooldown on our meditate, right? So the thing is, is you can chain meditates. In fact, since Master Yi is probably getting a nerf, I think something that they could do for Master Yi meditate is they could make it so that while you're meditating, the cooldown isn't going down. However, that does kind of ruin Master Yi when he gets re sets and he's holding on to his meditate which has been a big thing for Mashi. so i'd prefer if they just kind of increase the cooldown by like four seconds or something uh let's go ahead and grab this but yeah another thing is like Mashi is not a champion that typically has any mana problems so we're like this meditate like look i, I can literally just spam meditate even with this huge mana cost right it takes 40 plus six percent even with the huge mana cost we're never gonna run out of mana on ye right it, it will take so much effort so at this point, I don't need meditate. I'm just showing you, like that you could just spam this thing, even without blue buff. I don't even have blue buff. I'll do the blue buff last, just to show you, because the thing is, is like the jungle item gives you more mana regen the lower the mana you are. Here, let's do another meditate. Like you can see, we're just spamming it, right? And now our uh, Highlander is not enough cooldown. Look at this. We're already back to 300 here. Uh, I don't even know what I want here, but like yeah, you will literally never run out of mana as a jungler. So it's like, it's not even a factor, the mana regen. I want to kill that. I want to save my smite, though. Hello. Oh, you want a piece, too? Come here. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look at that attack range. Isn't that crazy attack range? I was almost out of the tower range when I went for her there. Uh, not too bad. Now check this out. You can use it to appear behind the Rift Herald instead of being in front and moving after it, right? Like there's just so much, so much potential on the, the new plays, right? But that again is what's going to make Mashi kind of overpowered. You kind of, you got to accept it for what it is, guys. You got to accept it for what it is. He's a little bit OP. Let's go ahead and grab all this, this, this. Perfect. Got this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to back by the crack and start beginning working on our uh, death dance. Well, we're back in the Krugs. And sometimes you just don't know which direction to even put your alpha. So you just kind of slam it wherever you want. Now the Kraken's going to give me a bunch of damage that we need. Go ahead and alpha strike this. 
and we're going to go for these raptors. We could see eight seconds left on these wolves. And this is why I love these jungle camp timers from Porofessor, because of the fact that you can, like, time your jungle clear, right? Before, if I don't have timers, sometimes you're just guessing, right? Especially if you don't time your camps. And that's why you should use my link down in the description and comment below. Okay, I'm going to come over here and help my teammates out. A little bit of sell out there, guys. I can't help it. We're going to go over here and help out my team. I tried to get close enough that I could alpha strike him, but uh, that was a no-go. Wait, did he have his passive up? I could not even tell. I literally could not tell that he had his uh, his tornado up. If I knew he had his tornado up, I would have played that a little bit differently. Pay to win skin, by the way. Maybe maybe I'm... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot I have Rift. My bad. I forgot. It's a good thing he pinged it because I forgot that I had it. But we can full push it. Wait, did Fiora just die to the tower? I'm pretty sure Fiora just died to the tower, guys. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can use your Meditate reset as frequently as you want now because of how low the cooldown is. So it's really easy to continue to utilize Meditate reset right here. We just... Oh, we're not going to talk about that one. Right there. And we secured the tower. Getting us really close to Death Dance. Once we get to Death Dance, we're going to be really hard to deal with. We'll go over to the Wolves. We'll go to the Gromp. Let's see. We got the red spawning soon. So what we'll probably do... Let me see how far we are from the death dance. 2,200. We could actually... If we do a full clear here, including crab, we can actually get this death dance on back. Also, we are running... Uh, these runes that we're running are really good when we're into, like, CC champions. Right? So, for example, Leona is a really good CC champion. But the rest of them don't really have any CC except Fiora if she gets the proc. So... In, in my opinion, I think like just having Legend Tenacity here is probably enough instead of having him flinching. But, I mean, entirely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself the Death Dance. Looks like the enemy team is contesting Dragon. They just killed Zed. I have Death Dance, so I would like to fight those kind of fights. Unfortunately, the red buff is gone. Hmm. Let's go up and try to kill Yone. Wish I had uh, Gunju's Rageblade. Hmm. <laughs> like, what's he even do? Yo, everybody talks about how unfair Yone is. You just gotta play Yi, guys. Play Yi and right click him. Okay, so she took my red buff. I'm gonna go take her red buff. In fact, I'm gonna take all of her camps. Hmm. I can't alpha. What's the cooldown on this? I can't get the death dance reset. What in the world, dude? That was really unfortunate. If I could have picked up the kill on Leona, I would have gotten the reset. And you can also see she doesn't really have any tank items, so she was really squishy. Uh, unfortunately, like, my alpha was taking forever to come off a of cooldown. So, you know, I'm sad. I could have popped off. Like, I'm telling you guys, if I got one kill there, I would have completely wiped them. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to grab this blue into the Gromp. And after that, we're just going to clear downwards a little bit. Maybe grab ourselves some Raptors. I think that'll be pretty good. I'm going to path myself downwards with my alpha. I also think this new alpha can increase your clear speed as well. Just because you can constantly put yourself in the position you want to be in. Man, look how low they are. Daddy wants some kills. Daddy wants some kills. He coming. All right, let's go ahead and do a sweep. Uh, of course, Leona has a pink in this bush. I mean, all we got to do is just dive with Death Dance and we're going to pop off. Like, yeah, like when you have death stance, you just heal, 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 heal. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Let's see how the new meditate reacts with towers. Oh, what? Did I just, like, lose tower aggro and then regain tower aggro? I've never seen that before. Do, wait, does Mashy get bigger when he alpha strikes? Ooh, the burning question, guys. The burning question. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clear these. I want to get the Gromp. Oh, come on. <laughs> like, does Yone need to stop messing with me, dude? Stop messing with me, man. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and alpha. And now we have almost full HP. Uh, once our Highlander is back up, we'll go for the kill over there. We are working towards the Gunju's Rage Blade to get some more damage. And then at that point, we'll probably just go like uh, play the Steel Caps and get tanky. There's no need for Merc Treads if you have this many uh, tenacity. So I'm sitting on 37% tenacity before I proc my ability, right? So, or rather, before I'm flinching, goes all the way down. There's no need to get more, even against Leona. We're going to be in really good shape here already with this tenacity. I'm coming to help my team out. Oh, that hit me. 
Okay, I got the reset. So Death Dance is gonna proc. Don't even gotta, like, it's, I don't know how this attack range is supposed to be a nerf for low elo. Like, honestly, I, or rather, it's not a nerf for low elo, but it's supposed to be different. And the idea is that, like, high elo players utilize the spacing of your autos more. But honestly, all this lets me do is I just right-click somebody and Mashi chases them even better now. Because, because by the time they run out of attack range, they're already dead. I'm not even sure if you can really consider that a uh, high elo only buff. Attack range feels like it's pretty huge on Master Yi. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this. We really want to avoid the fighting because if we try to fight without Highlander, it's going to be really hard. It's just really hard to fight without Highlander for Master Yi. So typically you don't want to use Highlander if you can, uh, or rather you don't want to fight without Highlander if you can avoid it. I'm going to go ahead and back because I need to purchase. Oh, nope. My team's in trouble. Okay. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and back. Oh, no. I'm going to kill this guy. Oh, never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and back. Oh, come on. Let me back, please. Oh, okay. I'm not going to back because my team decided. Oh, um, I'm having a good time, guys. Come, Kench, let's go. Bro, this is so annoying. I'm going to meditate this. I'm going to meditate again. All right, yeah, beautiful. Let's go to meditate again because why not, right? And then, uh, you know, I was going to back. I know I have 4K gold, but I think at this point all my camps respawned and the enemy really didn't want me to back. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clear this jungle here because, you know, why not? I mean, like, the thing is, it's once you have one or two items, you clear the jungle so fast anyway. You don't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves this camp. Perfect. Now, as long as my 80 carry doesn't take my red, because I have 14 kills, so it'd be really nice if they gave it to me, I'm going to be all fine. And you may be wondering, Kalsap, what are you going to buy as your, like, item after this? So we're going to be getting a Guntus and then probably a Blade of the Rune King. Uh, alternatively, you could go for the Guardian Angels so that you have Stopwatch because Stopwatch and Death Dance is the most broken combo in the game, hands down. Uh, because what happens is while you're bleeding, you just use your Stopwatch and you don't take any damage. And then that also buys you time to get a reset as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, we're going to go ahead and back and purchase our items and see where that leads us from there because I don't know exactly how much gold I have. Uh, looks like my team's pushing really hard with the Rift Herald. I'm going to go stop the Fiora from splitting. I could also get me uh, the Baron. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go chase her down. Oh, I'm gonna turn on attack champion only. Oh, come on! I'm tilted. I'm tilted, guys. Yeah, I mean she used her ulti on me and then she just outran me. But I'm gonna come over here and make sure she's not doing the blue buff. No biggie, guys. No biggie. Um, uh, and she kind of juked me a little too. Well, she's gonna be able to go back and help her team defend, I guess. Uh, oh, are they going to get that? Oh, he took too much tower damage. Well, we're going to go ahead and take this opportunity to do Baron. Uh, let's go to Meditate, yo. Why not? I mean, it'll be all cooldown soon anyway, right? <laughs> no problem, guys. All right, let's pull myself out here. It's okay. Use, the, use all those resets, guys. Use all those resets. No problem. Okay. Oh, no, the enemy team's running. I got to hurry. Get the Baron. Oh. Anyway, guys, that's a new rework E. Hopefully, you guys enjoy playing him as much as I do. And let me know if you guys have any questions about how to best utilize his potential down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to download Porofessor.